ersten vier Wochen sind überraschend gut gelaufen. The first four weeks went surprisingly well from our point of view. We had no problems, not in the operation, no technical problems and astonishingly nothing happened. Also nachdem wir einen Tag mit Persius After having worked with Persius for a single day, we could already use it well. The anesthesiology experts at the St. Elizabeth Hospital in Dammer in Germany are in agreement. The first experiences with the new anesthesiology device Perseus A500 have been positive. The morning start-up with Perseus is very simple. You simply turn it on, start the self-test and the device runs through it independently. You don't have to do anything. You can check it after some time and it will have completed the test. We haven't had any problems with test runs in the morning so far. The 235-bed hospital with focuses on gynecology and orthopedics had the opportunity to be the first clinic worldwide to test the new system. Dr. Bert Mirke, Chief Doctor of Anesthesiology. New features that the Perseus system brings us over the Primus line are the high dynamism of the system that is quick to connect and disconnect from the patient and to start up, the quick delivery and removal of the gases, and we see quite plainly that the volumes in Perseus are lower than they were in Primus. The gas prediction module in Perseus is especially valued in the German hospital. This is a new this is a new feature in order to provide security for inexperienced colleagues, giving them a chance to assess how their settings for the flow and vapor would most probably affect the inspiratory gas of the patients. I think this is good and very important. To experienced anesthesiologists, this might seem like child's play, but the ability to learn and to see one's changes visualized on the device is well thought out, and I can see this as being very useful. The testers at St. Elizabeth Hospital have great experience with minimal flow anesthesia and see support in Perseus. Minimal flow anesthesia, or anesthesia with low fresh gas flow, has been significantly developed and driven forward at the hospital in Dama by my predecessor, Professor Baum. First, one has to understand why we are pursuing this at all. And I have to say, if I receive a device from the industry that allows rebreathing, I have to use it. On the one hand, to save on emissions of greenhouse gases. Our anesthesia gases are greenhouse gases, and the more sparing I am with them, the more sparing I am not only of our budget, but of the environment as well. The second point is the effectiveness and ability of the device can truly be exploited so that a fresh gas flow of 200 millimeters per minute can be set on the device with no problems at all. That means I can operate the Perseus in a half-closed mode as a rebreathing system and establish the minimal flow anesthesia. This enables me to provide patients with a better breathing gas acclimatization. The big storage shelf on the device is new. This was something new to our German colleagues, regardless of the manufacturer, and it didn't prove to be a disturbance in the OR, but instead very helpful. Patient folders and syringe sets can be placed on top of it, which is quite daring and new, meaning that I hadn't previously seen the market for such a large shelf.